Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Today I'll be showing my latest model on my origami pepperoni pizza, or I guess you could call it a paperoni pizza since it's made out of paper, and I even designed a box to put it into. But this week I'll be just showing you the pizza. Next week I'll show you how to make the pizza box. So to make the pizza, you want to that was from a six inch square. I'm going to use the yellow and blue red dual paper. Six inch square, you want to first fold in half, diagonally and horizontally and vertically. I'm going to have the red side up for the side you want the pepper, the crust color down. I'm going to make our own pepperoni pizza here. Okay, now we're going to take, flip this over and do what's called a blint space by folding the four corners to the center of our, of our square. Unfold this blend space, flip it over, and now we're going to fold the sides to the center like this. And this just allows us to do our next fold more easily. Our next few folds. Unfold, fold in the other way. And now we're going to sort of do it's like a pinwheel base. We're going to basically fold this in on the creases. Just like this, push it in and collapse it flat so we have a square with four squares. I'm just going to turn this over for a second to flatten the creases in. And now we're going to start making the pepperonis for the pizza. So we're going to take the right flap of each of these one square here and fold it to the middle. And if this is not exactly where, you just kind of fold it where you want. So I'm going to go about there for this one. And now we're going to fold this back down like this to about here, and now this little flap, we're going to do a little tiny squash fold, and it's very tricky to do when it's so small, so sometimes you'll need a tool to open that up. There we go. And flatten this down, and now we're going to just take this little triangle here and just fold it out a little bit to make it look a little more round like a sort of look like a pepperoni and now on this other side I'm gonna do it this way this time so that we have it down like this to stagger it somewhat again no exact location and then again we're gonna go up like this and squash it down and just sort of fold up this lip a little bit to make it look more circular somewhat and now you can do that on all four corners. So here's that's corner one. Again, it doesn't have exact how high this is. You can vary it a little bit if you want. You can vary how far you fold this down, but if you fold down a little more, it might be a little easier to do this fold. And then squash it flat. Open out this a little bit to make a little pepperoni. And this side on this side, the down side, the bottom one. Once again, fold it down, fold it up, squash, open it up a little bit like that to make it look more slightly more rounded. Different sizes also makes it look more realistic. Fold this up, down, do the tiny, this squash fold is the smaller one, so it's a little trickier, there we go. And again, I just for sort of bending it up, almost doing a partial petal fold there to kind of make it a little more round. And then this side will go down this way again. Fold this up and squash fold. And then this little edge, we sort of do a, almost a petal fold, not quite, just a little bit there to make it a little bigger, a little more sort of rounded looking. And then the last square again, fold it up. Pull this down, open the, the pocket, and this is sort of tricky to do without a tool or something, but you can do it. Very small squash fold. You sometimes need a Pin. Actually, I have a pin right here. You can take a pin or a toothpick if you need to and just open this up a little bit. 
and flatten that down like that. And then again, I'm going to sort of just sort of sculpt it a bit to make it a little bigger. And then the last one, I'm going to fold in here, fold this up. This one tends to be a bit easier to open because it's a little bigger. Do your little squash and sort of squish it up a bit to make them look like, and there's your pepperonis. And now to make the crust of the pizza, we're going to fold these corners in about to here. About to there. These again don't have to be exact because the pizza didn't always perfectly even all around. And then we're going to fold this in again. How far? Well, about to this touches that fold there roughly. Would be good. As long as you're not covering up any pepperonis. Because you want to see those pepperonis. And now to finish, the, you could even have this edge touch the it come up to the edge of your pepperoni if you want as a guide like that if you want and now this edge we're just going to fold in a little bit more again depending on where your pepperonis are depend on how far you can fold this in this as long as it's not touching those or covering those pepperonis and this will be the crust of our pizza the edge of the crust like the rising crust pizza and one more Flatten it down good. And there you have a pizza. Kind of almost looks like four pieces, like where it's cut right there, or eat if you look at those creases. And that's the finished model. An origami pepperoni pizza, or should you should I say a paperoni pizza? And and stay tuned next week if you want to make this box to fit the pizza in. Just uh, stay tuned for next week's video. I will show you how to make the size, the pizza box size to fit whatever size pizza you're making. Hope you enjoyed this model. It looks almost almost good enough to eat, although it wouldn't taste very good. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.